All right, we made it back. Today is not Monday. So the palace is open. Chung Yong Goon. Sure, that's mispronounced. Palace. So let's go check it out. Let's enter the palace. Let's go check it out. Give you an insider tour. Save you 3,000 won per person, which is a whopping $2.50 maybe. It's crazy, there's a lot of people in there, but like, seems to be nobody in this section. And this section's pretty cool. I think the original part of this goes back to like 1385. I'll look up some data and put it on there. Cherry blossoms coming out. The way they do their walls is cool. With the blocks and then just kind of mortar in between. Got Miss Cecilia. Caught doing selfies again. Selfie time. Yes. Selfie, selfie. This is a short doorway. Let's walk on through here and see what we got. It's all kind of starting to look the same, but this place is huge. Like everywhere, there's CCTV cameras everywhere. <laughs> Kind of weird seeing all the white people dressed in traditional Korean clothes. But <laughs> it is what it is. It's a tourist site. All right, this is the grounds of Chung Yong Gung Palace. I think that's what I called the first one. The first one was actually Chung Dyok Gung. Once again, don't fault me for my pronunciations. I'm only human and unintelligent American. <laughs> yeah, another palace. So, the reason why we're doing these palaces back to back is unless you want to walk all the way back to the beginning of the first palace, uh, there's a back entrance that comes into this palace and we got to go that way. So, you just pay your thousand won entry, which is like 80 cents, and you walk through this one to get to the where we need to go. So.
All right, after a decent little walk from the palaces, this is Kwang Jiang Market. Pronunciation, maybe. Let's go inside and uh, check out this big market. A lot of food. All right, I've seen this uh, market on lots of videos. And it's, it's a true market, but obviously it's very touristy at the same time because of the, uh, some of the famous food vendors in here, man. People have been on uh, Netflix series for street food, South Korea. And uh, so I'll walk through, I'll get some food, eat lots of snacks along the way. You ready for some snacks? Let's go. Lots of blanket shops. Material shop, fabric shop. There's some snack foods. Strawberries. Dehydrated strawberries. And we got some fish. I can tell you right now, it is packed down there. There's a bunch of rice snacks. This is our first one here. We're gonna get some uh, mung bean pancake. You see them being cooked right here. We're gonna try these up. Get them stacked up. See this place is a madhouse right now. I'll show you the pancake when we get it. All right, there's the vendors. And here is one mung bean pancake cut into four. Things are huge. Mm. Good. Sweet. Delicious. Yep. All right. Go. Oh. Very good. All right, for that mung bean pancake, which you've seen was huge. Don't get one for like two or three people, maybe four people. Uh, Five thousand won. I'll put a conversion here, but a little over four bucks. Right here, you can see them grinding the uh, mung beans down to a fine paste. Then they'll mix in the uh, bean sprouts and some other things and then fry it. Tasty. This needs a little salt for me. But, very nice. Sausage. A bunch of it. Huge taboki. I think that's how you pronounce it. The rice cakes and the red spicy sauce. All right, here's another one of the uh, stalls from Netflix. Dumpling crazy. Like a dessert, puff rice, it's coated, peanuts and sesame seeds. All 
안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Making a whole bunch of radish. Takdugi? Senche. Senche. Wu Senche. So it's a different. Takdugi is the squares. This is a different variety. That's the uh, Taitan radish. She's shredding that all and making a huge portion. And over here is all the seasoning. Come, Samni, now. Red bean custard and deli manju, whatever deli manju is. That's these little ones. All right, we're getting this uh, deli manju. It's got the corn on the thing, so I'm assuming it's like corn inside. We will see. Uh, seven of these, 3,000 won. So, I don't know why it's got corn on there. Maybe it's almost like a cornbread. All right, a little bit like cornbread, but inside there's a little bit of custard. So, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Sunday. It's the uh, Korean blood sausage. You got pig snout. Got every cut imaginable. Pig feet over here. Alright, this is part of the, uh, we're headed to uh, kind of a neat modern shopping area, but this is the river walk here in the middle of Seoul. This used to be a road, like this used to be all covered with the little river running through it. And then in, uh, I think it's about a decade ago, maybe two decades, I don't know when, how long ago, they opened it back up. It's all walkways now with the nature. You'll see birds and stuff in there. And uh, down some of the other parts of it, they have like in the areas kind of nightlife and food and whatnot. So it's pretty cool. Return back to nature. It had been a road for a very long time. And they decided they didn't need that road. That's my understanding. Headed down to a uh, modern plaza it's pretty futuristic looking it's pretty cool figure we go check that out uh, tomorrow we're moving hotels so it's our last day in this area so I want to check it out before we uh, head to the new hotel we'll show you that when we get there we're going to the uh, military hotel uh, Dragon Hill Lodge it's called and, uh, it's a pretty nice place we're gonna spend the last five nights there. We decided to check out this hotel early and go there instead. See this area here. This area is all sewing machine shops. You see right here, sewing machine shop. Here's a sewing machine shop. Oh yeah, there's some lighting as well. But uh, they seem to group their types of uh, retail in, in certain blocks. Like uh, up up towards our hotel, it's all all gold and uh, jewelry places, and this is like lighting and sewing machines. So it's kind of unique. All right, this is Dongdae Moon Design Plaza. And that's where we're headed. Go check it out. Reminds me of uh, Chicago, the one kind of. I don't know. I don't think it's even a building in Chicago. I think it's more of just a uh, sculpture. Super, almost glossy, but this is a little different. This is like flat stainless. It looks like. So far in this uh, Dong Day Moon Design Plaza, we have no clue what's going on. <laughs> it seems like a business 
like a company's headquarters or something. But then here on the fourth floor, there's this outdoor deal. And then there's a museum over here, so. It's like a kid's play area. It's a uh, strange place. See the curves of the building over here. Cool design, but what it's for, I don't know. We're just walking around. All right, I currently got this whole building to myself. Never mind, the people came out. <laughs> this is the top. I don't see how they're uh, getting any kind of money or what 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 they're doing. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess it's a kind of a headquarters for a building or something for a company. I mean. Here's the side. Check out a Korean mall. Place looks huge. Got a Starbucks and they got the world's greatest Shake Shack in the front. Miss Cecilia is being mean. She won't let me eat Shake Shack again on this trip. Ridiculous. So she wants to go eat in a food court, but she said we can get a shake after her. So we can at least get a Shake Shack shake. No videoing in this uh, mall, but man, I'm gonna video the food. I just won't pan around. It's a nice little food court here in the bottom of this mall. Uh, we got a couple, we got one, one dish from one vendor and one dish from another vendor. So we'll show you that when it comes out. All right, look at this uh, set we got for 9,501. That's like seven something. Look at this thing. This is a pork, adobe basically, rice, vegetables. Kakdugi, which is the Korean radish kimchi, some soup. And then over here, we wanted to try these. Never seen these before. Most of my Korean experience is on the base and just a little bit outside the gate. So never seen this before. This is like a flat, they call it a flat dumpling. This, the water, and the Coke was uh, 10,000. So both dishes together, 19,500 bucks, or 500 won, which comes out to about 15 bucks. Yeah, so we're gonna get to eat shut this camera off before I get arrested. We find ourselves down here, Pyong Hua Clothing Market. But there's like uh, pet shops, bookstores, and then right behind it is that river walk. So we're gonna go down here and check out the river walk for a little bit. So come along, we'll show you the river. All right, there's the river walk. It's got like stuff like this, murals and Little art installations and in different sections of it. There's even parts like this, these rocks right here you can walk across to the other side. So like I mentioned before, this used to be a roadway and it covered over. I'm thinking it's this height. Was this height where these steps are? I think that's how high the road was and it covered over this. The water still ran underneath it. Then they decided to get rid of the roadway and open this back up and give a kind of a little bit of green space for the uh, city. Their water looks relatively, I mean it's clear. Oh, there's a big old carp right there. That's a good sized boy. So, there's definitely some carp in the river. You see here, we got high rises kind of all around us. And 
it's just a uh, place for people to walk alongside some greenery and some water get away from the uh, steel and the smoke <laughs> We just came out of a huge clothing mall. I mean, it was enormous, like wholesale kind of thing. I actually got a hat. And uh, most of the stuff, though, was like 1980s styles. Let's just say it says old lady clothing, right? Old lady clothing. <laughs> but it's like amazing the amount each stall had. Like in the hat shops, there's, there had to be a thousand friggin' hats. All different varieties, but now we're walking through a uh, kind of a food area. Spin this around. Got all kinds of stuff going on in the middle of food. You get seamstress. Then we got food over here. Food cooking over here. Bunch of little stalls. To me, stuff like this, this brings back memories of the older Korea and Osan. Curious what it looks like up there. I don't think we're going to go up there on this trip. We are going to go to the uh, DMZ. We have that planned. A tour from the uh, Dragon Hill Lodge. And that'll about wrap up our uh, Korea experience. Been pretty good. What's up, girl? A little different tonight. All the uh Blossoms have bloomed on this street. Pretty cool. With the neon light, it's pretty nice. We're just walking, figuring where we're gonna eat. Oh, we got some scorpions playing over here. That might be an option. Some spicy chicken, yambas. We looking for food, lady? You hungry? Chicken. Chicken? All right, I guess we're eating chicken again. All right, let's find it. So we didn't get the blossoms in Japan, but we got them here in Seoul. So nice, man, with the neon lights. They like your blossoms? Yes. All right, dinner tonight. Korean fried chicken. We had this before already, but that's all right. Options are a little bit limited in this area. It's an older neighborhood. A lot more stews and innards and uh, <laughs> stuff like that. So we're doing fried chicken with some potatoes, french fries, and uh, some beer. So I'll show you the food when it comes out. I'll spin this around. I don't want to get any customers. I'll just show you this wall right behind Mississippi. This place is called 2 2 Fried Chicken. Alright, we got our beers. This is Terra. Cheers. And uh, it's very similar. Terra and the Cass for me taste about the same. So we just got the Terra again. We had the Cass the other night. Uh, give you some little beer snacks and uh, pickled radish. Show you the chicken when it comes down. This plate's coming up. Assorted french fries. Get a happy face french fry. Delicious. Mm, mm. Alright, chicken's coming up. And holy garlic. It's got a lot of gar minced garlic on the top. You see that shiny sauce. It's gonna be garlicky, lady. Yeah. Hope you like your garlic. Not gonna like it in the morning. Garlic breath. Let's give us a sample. Mm. Shut up. 
Just get to eat it. All right, we're walking off our dinner a little, and we found McDonald's. So we're coming to McDonald's for lunch tomorrow before we switch hotels because we went in there and looked at the menu and they have a bagogi burger and not only do they have a bagogi burger they have a double bagogi burger for fat guys like me so McDonald's tomorrow let's just say you're gonna get a shrimp burger show you that jams all right forgot to give a total for the Korean fried chicken with the garlic sauce uh, you've seen what we got chicken fries two beers grand total 48,000 won I'll put a conversion here but about about 40 bucks no I think it's less than that it's like 30 36 37 bucks somewhere in there anyways we're lucky in Angel City because Cecilia and I both agree that boom Korean fried chicken in Angeles is better than anything we've had here in Seoul. And we've been to two places now. And uh, it's not that it's bad or anything. It's just uh, not as good as boom chicken. And boom chicken, man, the price is super reasonable. Uh, you see how much we spent here. I think pricey. this place is pricier than Japan right now. Uh, 145 yen to the dollar, 151 online. Japan is a lot cheaper right now than Korea, which is you know surprising. Back in the day, that wouldn't be the case, but still pretty decent food. And uh, we'll show you what we get into tomorrow.